So we're just out for a little walk with the grand dog, our chiefy. As you can see, Brenda's got two lovely, delightful bags of poo with her. Brenda picking the dog poo up. <laughs> she didn't bring them with her. <laughs> Uh, we're going to try the drone a little bit because it's hardly been any good weather for doing it. It's a lovely little sunset and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm just trying it really, I'm not that bothered about the footage, just to have a look. But lovely little area we're in, where we live, right on our doorstep. Can't complain can you? It's pretty damn good. Sniffy, come on, you're not going in there. Come on. Well, it's a little bit windy and you can probably not hear me very well. I went into slow motion again, but what I was trying to say was my new microphone has arrived, so everything should be good after this. Hello. Well, it's what New Year's, uh, New Year's Day, plus one. You know that day we have our fix for We look better far away. <laughs> <laughs> How's the teeth coming on? Oh, too close, too close. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, we could have got a taxi home for this price, so I <laughs> organise a better next time. Goodbye. It was still pretty cold, as you can see by the water icing over. So, how's it looking? What do you think? We're home, it's what time? Looks a bit messy, you better tell you that off. Yeah, you mean that. <laughs> 25 past 11, and we've had the slow cooker on. Mm. Oh, you steam me lens up. Looks all right. What's it taste like? Nice. Oh, what was that noise? <laughs> it was very nice, but what TV show are we watching? I discovered that some of my videos had been used on the ITV News on Christmas Eve, but I missed it, didn't I? I did get a credit, though. Prior to that, they had run out of tune for more than 100 years. So it's my last days of me scheduled holidays. I've worked a little bit over Christmas, but I thought it's the last day. I'll uh, try my drone again, the DJI Mini 3, and I wanted to see... If, uh, if I can get it to do the trekking thing. So I'm gonna get up on the sand dunes at the Blue Lagoon and uh, have a little walk about and see how it copes with uh, following me. There's not much for it to crash into, that's why I've come up here. As you can see, they've fenced off a lot of the area here. Here even. It's, uh, apparently we've got a lot of migratory birds which are feeding here in the winter time. Like an idiot, I completely forgot that you're not allowed to fly your drone here. Cooey. Apparently the trace function is really just for uh, following you, so it, it will 
definitely try to follow your if it can. But if you stop and face it and walk towards it, it will back away from you. So it'll follow you backwards so you can do uh, talk to the camera that way. Yeah, I think it's a great little function. As you can see, I've just dropped my phone. What an idiot. Give us a wave, Michael. Success? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see what the footage says. Oh well, it finally had to happen. I had to go back to work. It's uh, ooh, Wednesday the 4th and I'm out doing a photo job for the newspaper and we're in a pub, which is over here. Somebody's sneaking up on me in the background. <laughs> Come round here, I can't see you. Here she is. Hi. He's here, me. Superstar reporter for Hartlepool Life and new columnist. Columnist. That's not columnist. A good word. Features, Features. Features. A bit of everything. Anyway. <laughs> so keep a look out for Amy's World and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Let's go do the job. Finally, the new DJI microphone has arrived, so hopefully after this there'll be no wind noise. That's if I remember to put it on. Well, we're just waiting for them pesky bells to come out from Hugo Van and they're bringing that dog we don't like with them, uh, Eddie Dog. Um, yeah, we've decided to sell the caravan uh, on the car, the big car, this big car. And we're gonna get all the money together and is it clean? No. <laughs> <laughs> Needs a wash. And we're gonna go for a van, so we're gonna be van lifers. So that'll be fun, that'll be a new thing to watch. So we're just waiting for them coming out and then we're off to go and see some vans. Not to buy, just to get some ideas. Here he is. He's already. <laughs> well, nobody told me it was going to rain. Where are we? At Brown Leisure. Let's find a van. Are you going to stay in the head? You stay there. Look after the car. Good lad. What do you reckon, Bren? Are we having this one? Yeah, we'll have that one. <laughs> I want to look for a of these, are you? No, across the flash. Yeah, I don't know why. No. Uh, they just look weird. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing to crash into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon? Is this one big enough? It's alright to me. Yeah. yeah. Of course, Brenda's yeah. found the drinks cabinet. Oh, excellent. Drinks cabinet. Sold. Well, you're off, you're off for a poo now, Bren. What's in that? Microwave. Mm. Even. Is there somewhere for me to go up the toilet and have a shower? Yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, let's go and have a look. That's the shower base, yeah? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. All right, so you close this. And yeah. close. Um, is that you? Is that you? And what's this place? Do you leave the key? Oh, Do you leave the key? No. It wasn't me. <laughs> So we're having a look in a crafter, uh, which is obviously a lot newer. But to be honest, I preferred the other one, the layout of the other one, especially. What did you think, Bren? Yeah, I like the layout of the other one. But you like it's new though, don't I you? Like, I mean, obvious, like clean obviously, and new. it's gorgeous and it's new and everything, but I don't like it. It's just too clinical, in my opinion. Not comfortable. Like right, we're not having this one. <laughs> I've had a little look at this Citra, whatever it is, I can't remember it was. So it's come down to uh, eight and a half grand for us. So there's a contender anywhere. Just need to find eight and a half grand now, yeah. Have you got eight and a half grand for me? Well, here I am back at work. I think this is recording upside down, by the way. Hold on. Well, here I am, back at work, in the rain. I've got a little job this morning for the newspaper. We are uh, photographing a lady who always wanted to go on the uh, Wingfield Castle. And she's finally got a wish come true. So, uh, yeah, that's my first job. I'm off up to Black Hall now to do um, a pantomime rehearsal. So I'm not even sure which one it is. Uh, I don't know, Cinderella, Mother Goose, no idea. Anyway, I'm getting wet in the rain and my quiff's doing one, so 
I'm away. Hopefully, I'm using the new microphone, so we'll see how that's recorded. Eh? It's very, very windy. What an absolute manky morning. Horrible grey day. But what can you do? It's work, isn't it? Got to do it. Got to get out of bed. Got to earn a living. Don't want to, but you know, one has to do it. Well, I've arrived here at Blackhall to do this uh, Cinderella thing. And I don't particularly want to get out of the car, if the truth be known. But I suppose I better. Please subscribe to the Silver Fox. It's completely free. Yeah. <laughs> For some unknown reason, there's about 15 or 20 tyres that have just appeared on the beach. Hmm, I wonder what could have happened there. Well here we are at the end of another week. You can't really see it now, but there's an immediate oh, there it is there. And you just about see it there. We've got such an amazing moonrise. I took a couple of pictures with the phone, but they look rubbish. Looks good though, doesn't it, Bren? Yeah, it does really good. Now I wonder if if uh, this microphone on here is picking up your voice. My strange voice at the moment, yeah. yeah. Come on, Dwayne Dibley. Dwayne Dibley. <laughs> But it's a lovely night, even though it is absolutely freezing. If you come round, we're right out, stuck out in the middle of the sea. To try not to drop the phone. But it's been a great week. Oh, that moon just looks amazing. Oh, it looks so tiny on here, but it really is, really is big. We're just walking off into the moonlight. <laughs> not the sunset, the moonrise. But where should we go from here? Um, don't know. Around the marina. Mm-hmm. Careful, Bren, you don't want to fall in like some idiot. <laughs> or you don't want to slip like some idiot. Normally by. But Bren, look out! <laughs> <laughs> Have you got your best shoes on? Have you got your docks on? I've got my docks on. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at this beautiful place where we live. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. So you big bum. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, the boats look pretty. I think we, I think we protected from the wind a bit here. Oh, we can't get across. It looks lighter than it is on the camera. Oh, there's the boat going through. It's getting shouted at, I think. <laughs> Still Christmas here. What you got there? What? Me microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Still working. Yeah, can you wait? One, two, one, two. <laughs>
So this was Spices, which has been open since 2000, when it was called Spices 2000. Sadly closed down. I think this was one of the first ones to open, but it, it had a different name. I can't remember what it was, something to do with the sale. The Wayne sale or something like that. can't remember now. And he's one of our favourites in the town, along with Portofino's, Cremo's old gaff. Now he's the one that I haven't seen before, JP's Bar, cocktails, two for a tenner. Sounds alright to me. Pretty colours. There's a little cafe on here that you can go on to. This particular boat, ship, boat I'm going to say, was one of the little ship's boats that went over to uh, Dunkirk and helped with the evacuation. Probably tells you something about it there. A little bit. Obviously closed at the moment. But they've been doing it up over a number of years. I have had the pleasure of going on and seeing some of the renovations. A little bit of info about it. You can always pause it and read it. There's a gym right over there. And of course you can't make a video of Hartlepool without the monkey. It's amazing how it looks light on the video, but it is really quite dark. Uh, yeah, that's the lot for this week. It's been another busy week. Uh, I've had some lazy days though, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, that's your lot, so catch you next time. Oh, by the way, hey, don't forget to do what Cinderella and the girls tell you to do. Uh, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, give them a wink, Bren. Can't wink. Just wave then. Bye. Please subscribe to the Silver Fox. It's completely free. Yeah. <laughs>